Hello everyone and welcome to Little Nightmares 2, the sequel to the original Little Nightmares which I played must be a couple of years ago now on the channel and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Great little indie game and uh, now we will be jumping into the sequel. Very interested to see where things go. Obviously when we left off, Six had stolen the power, uh, the sort of dark power and used it to kill pretty much everyone on the ship <laughs> uh, in a very crazy ending sequence and uh yeah i believe we're playing as a different character this time but that six is still around i'm not entirely sure how that's gonna go but uh we shall see what is this weird corridor we're in going towards a deep blue light oh it's one of those doors we definitely know those doors from the previous game with the eyes on them Okay, what does it mean? Hello, is this uh, this is our new dude? Okay. First things first, how far left can we go? <laughs> Not particularly far. Okay, it's always something you've got to check. <laughs> right, what what have we got? Controls wise, is there anything other than oh? You can you can shout, shout and jump. That appears to be about the extent of it right now. I'm sure we'll get a few more mechanics added in as we go. Oh, I'm ready for this. I am ready for this. What new terrible terrible creatures are we going to discover? Heave ho! Can we interact with this in any way? No, don't think so. Don't think so. Crawl through here. Aha. Okay, hang on. I didn't try. It's the it's the right trigger that lets you grab something. So let me just see if I can grab anything here. No, okay. I don't think you can. Just, I didn't try that. But, uh, good to know. Good to know. Uh, left trigger to crouch. Okay. Sneaky McSneakerson. What is this? Is that a shoe? I think so. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's about... That's about what I'd expect from the world of Little Nightmares. Sure. Right, yes. you got to jump and hold the trigger to pull yourself up. Get myself reacquainted with these controls, because, yeah, it has been a couple of years, I think. This is going to break and fall, right? Right? No? I'm very I'm very surprised. <laughs> I'm very surprised. That looked like a classic break and fall. What have we got here? Okay, well, that is a trap. <laughs> oh, I was trying to trip... <laughs> I was trying to trip it and then avoid it just to see, like, what it would be like. <laughs> but, uh... Turns out, if you if you walk into it, you are animation. Oh. oh, never mind. Never mind. I avoided it that time. Sweet. I I thought you were animation locked into uh, doing it. <laughs> that time, I tried to jump and avoid it, and I fat fat fingered it and hit the wrong button. But uh, <laughs> we all good. Nothing in there. Give that a push. And a pull. Now, this uh, this game operates in like 2.5D, and it's same as the same as its predecessor, where you've got a little bit of movement into the foreground and background, but it's by no means like a full 3D world. Like I can't walk down that path off into the distance there. So yeah, interesting to see how they use that here. Oh shit! Hold X to sprint. Okay, good to know, good to know. Shit! Okay, I could I have done that faster? I guess we'll try again and find out. 
Oh, am I supposed to jump up in there? Oh. Wait. I don't, I, there is like a hole in the tree, but I'm not sure if I'm supposed to jump into it or if I like holding. Maybe I was holding too far up, and so I was losing some time there. There we go. There we go. Okay, that was. I was just not <laughs> not holding in the perfect direction, I guess. Okay, how would I go about getting that? Can I walk up this tree stump? I can. Okay. Okay. Then I can jump across and swing. Huh. Nice. Nice, nice. A few basic uh, things to get to grips with the controls. I guess we can climb on climb that the other side. Ah, full damage. Right. <laughs> yes. That is indeed a thing. So, can I like hang down off the edge of this maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's a no. I can't sprint jump. Oh, can I climb? Can I hold this rope? Is this rope part of the? Oh, the rope is not something I can climb down, but I could just do that. Okay, gotta gotta make more use of the foreground there, and then I must be able to climb this, right? Yeah, that is a really nice shot. That is very cool. Another tree with a hole in it. Is there anything I can... I can't jump up to it. Too high. Hello, birdie. Lots more shoes. Oh, this is a, this is a leaf trap if ever I've seen it. But I kind of want to just walk into it. Uh, just to see what it looks like. <laughs> Yep, okay. That was different to what I thought. I thought it was going to be a pit, like, covered in leaves, and then you walk onto it and fall down, but, uh, not quite. Let's walk around it this time. It's always kind of just morbidly interesting to see what, uh... <laughs> oh, do we need to trigger it? Wait, hmm. Because that is too high for little old me. So I need that log down, but I need to not get caught. Hmm. Ah, of course, I throw a shoe into it. Of course. There we go. There we go. Wonder when our first creepy as hell, like, creature, like, adult, but not a human adult skin sack monster thing will come. Okay, well, I've got to, I've got to see what it looks like when you step in a bear trap, right? I'm, I'm too morbidly curious to see what, uh, <laughs> what some of these death animations look like. That, that wasn't as exciting as I was hoping for, not gonna lie. I was hoping it would slice him off of the neck. <laughs> Let's get real, real painful with it. Okay, we've got a stick here that's lit up, so I'm feeling like we're going to need this. Oh, right, to activate this other trap, of course. Uh. There we go. Okay. Can, like, hit with it? I'm pretty sure that wasn't a mechanic in, uh, the previous game. I don't think you could hit. Oh, no. Are there going to be bear traps hidden in the leaves? That's what I'm thinking. Bear traps hidden in the leaves. Yup. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
And same deal here, but with pine cones. <laughs> oh, I love the chain reactions. One of them sets off another. That's always fun. <laughs> okay, that's everything here. Fail. Hmm. Do we reckon we can just make our way along here now? Huh? Oh my fucking hell, that made me jump. That made me jump. Can we get in here at all? No. Oh wait, hang on. It looked like he was sort of no? Okay. <laughs> I had a moment of, is he squeezing through there? I don't know. I don't know. This is unlike anything we saw in the first game. Like, there was no outdoor locations like this in the first game. It was all in that one ship. What have we got here? Something terrible, I'm sure. Because we can't have nice things. There's, like, something in that box. I don't know whether I want to know what it is. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of the fucking kitchen from the first one with the chefs. Those fucking chefs, man. Great level. <laughs> Terrifying. Terrifying chefs. The music is playing. It's really faint. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. Hang on, we've got we've got choices on where to go. Let's try this door first. Hmm, is this going to be the way to go? I want to go not the way to go first. But I guess it's impossible to know what that way would be. Uh Well, that's haunting. Can't, like, break this somehow. Give me the ball! I can't pick the ball up while it's rolling, motherfucker. Stop rolling! <laughs> no. That is, that is very creepy. There's an axe there that's lit up by the light, which presumably means we can acquire it somehow. Can't shuffle along the shelf. Hmm. Can I just? Oh, I can just jump up to it. Never mind. Okay, well we can definitely break down the the door with this. I'm still unsure if this is. Wait, could I have nabbed this? Ah. I'm still unsure if this is the way to go, or what. The donk. Here's Johnny! Hey kid. I'm not here to hurt you. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> Be like that then. I want to play it. Can I not play it? No. I can't. Feels bad. Is there anything under here that warrants attention? No. There's this symbol on the wall. Was this a symbol from the first game? I don't quite remember. Could well be. Uh, hello? Where is he? There we go. <laughs> Child's running upstairs. Okay, okay. Are you going to lead me to, like, some horrible, nasty, grown-up thing? Whatever we call the creatures in this world. Look like adults, but are, like, completely horrible. Oh, shit, the kitchen door's closed. Is there someone in there now? Okay, the kid went right, so I'm just going to check left. Can we not open this, I'm guessing? No. Holy fuck. Okay, that made... <laughs> I jumped, and then I realized that they're statues. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hi. We can help each other. Double the weight. Nice. Uh oh. Someone coming? The sound of enemies is, like, more scary than the actual enemies themselves. Guessing we'll need his help to push that along. Is there anything to the right? No. Okay. Like, just knowing that the enemies are there. A little bit terrifying. Okay, there's a key there. There was a padlock door down to the right. How are we going to get that? We need a crank handle to place in there. Oh, wait. Can I just... Hmm. Can we open this cupboard, maybe? Or can we jump up and over it? Ah, we can jump up and over it. Sneaky sneaks. So here's the thing. <laughs> that could be another robot. Or it could be an actual person. It looks like it's got its arm torn off and there's like stuffing there. So it's probably a robot. But it also could be a fake out. I say robot. I don't know what it actually was. Whatever we saw at the dining table. It could be a fake out. Mercifully, it seems like it is not. But I feel like... I feel like it could be setting us up for one, you know? Like, you see X amount of fake people, and then suddenly one of the fake people is actually alive. Kind of thing. Ah, cheers, man. Oh, you're not gonna... Oh, no, you are, you are, you are. Ah, now we can climb this. Okay. Ah, very nice, very nice. What? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> it shook it free. I was like, wait, hang on, he let go. <laughs> Sweet.
You want to uh, you want to give me a leg up here, lad? No. Oh, I can just open this. The sounds have stopped, which is a bit worrying. Where's the person? Where's the monster? Oh god. Oh wait, no, this is footprints leading into the house. So we should be good because we're going away from it. God, that is a lot of bear traps. That is a worrying amount of bear traps. Okay, how are we going to go about this? Is there something outside I can bring in? Thought maybe I could pick up that stone or something? No. Wait, what? Oh! What the fuck is this? What? What the fuck is that? <laughs> it was like some... We woke up next to TVs and then there's that staticky thing, creature thing. Are we like in... Are we in a show or something? Is this all part of someone else's sick? Can you just like yeet me up there? Is it that simple? Can you just like come over here and give me a leg up? No, it's not that simple, okay. Or can you, like, Hail Mary me over there from here? Hmm. Because I definitely can't just, like, run and jump that. Like, that's too fast. So, there's nothing in the room that I can move. Can't move those boxes. I can't move this box. I just climb on top of it. I feel like I need something. I can't... I feel like I should be able to pick up that stone, but I can't. The loo roll's not going to help us here. Hmm. Unless it is. Can't throw that up there. What what am I missing here? Gotta be missing something. Can't move this box. Is there a different bit of shelving that I can climb up? No, I can't climb any higher than this. <sighs> what what am I missing? What am I I can't climb any higher than this. It'll only struggle and you can't shimmy left and right. I can't sprint jump over to that window. He won't give me a boost up to that window. What could I be missing? You sure you don't want to give me a boost? You sure? Hmm, he's pretty sure. I, I'm i stumped. I cannot see what I could be missing. Is there something like further? Do I need to go further back to grab something? Maybe I'm not going back far enough. Wait, can I grab this? No, wait, can I jump? Can I climb that? No.
There has to be something I can interact with that allows me to get that level of height. Can I bring something down from up here? Can you, like, yeet me into this cupboard, maybe? No. Hmm. I don't feel like it would be anything over this way because you can't take stuff with you so I wouldn't be able to carry anything over this jump so it can't be anything over there I can't interact with that cupboard there's nothing else up here so I must be missing something in this direction I can't jump into the clothes and pull them down I am so stumped. How could... Hmm. You can't climb these. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh my fucking god, I want to die. Keep it simple. Keep it simple, me. I can't believe I took five minutes to figure out push the box. Uh-oh, why do I hear? Oh, no. Our friend here is not going to make it, is he? Oh. Okay. We didn't make it. Oh, our friend's ahead of us this time. Oh, we need to hide behind this. I gotcha. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Is he going to come back? Should I follow? A oh, little dude wants me to hold his hand. Uh, 
This is this is very very creepy. They've done a great job. Nothing to see here, man. Nah, dude. Nah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's -a go. Okay. 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 We the tension is ratcheted up five notches. <laughs> oh God. Oh, they they do the, those kind of encounters so well. The same with the first game. Like just pure tension and ugh, it's really well done. I kind of hate it because like I hate being scared, but at the same time. This game's like just on the border <laughs> where I am able to play it. I don't find it too scary. But there are some bits that have me so tense. I'm just like, oh, why am I playing this? <laughs> uh. <laughs> don't lean too far, man. That's a big old drop. I don't know that we can make this? Question mark? <laughs> well, uh, that does answer that. That does, in fact, answer that. Uh, I can't hold his hand anymore. Hmm. We need a way of crossing this. We cannot do it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh no. What if it what if we let go right now? <laughs> hmm. Is he going to go and grab something for us? Ah. Really? Okay. Oof. That is some trust right there. I See, the thing is, I, I have a terrible feeling that this kid is not going to make it. I'm surprised he's made it this far. But just from the art alone, we know that our character is going to be teaming up with six. And this kid ain't six. Which means that this kid is going to be written out. Presumably through horrible death. Is, is my theory. I cannot see this kid surviving. By virtue of the fact he is not six. Oh no. Fuckity doo da, fuckity day. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm dead. Not dead, not dead, not dead. No, don't break, don't break. Oh my goodness! Thank you, my friend. Oh my god! Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Go, 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 go! Shit, shit! Splooch! Oh, can we get under here? Can we get under here? Oh, if you duck, you go under the water. 
Can't hold your breath for long, though. Okay, okay. This is so intense, man. This is a really well done section. This is a really well done section. We're opening, opening the game with this just fucking madness. <laughs> oh, which makes you wonder, like, oh god, what the hell else is in store? Oh, he saw us. Okay, you got to be more careful than that. I wasn't being more. I wasn't being careful enough. You got to be. You can't just duck when he sees you. You gotta not get seen in the first place. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, you also can't hold your breath for very long. I thought I could hold it for maybe a little longer than that. You can't. Learning process. Loving the loving the very recent checkpoint. That's good. Safe. Oh, come on. I feel like he swings around so fast that you don't have time to react to it there. Can I can I sprint? Does sprinting make any... No, you can't sprint at all. I was wondering if holding down X would make you move any faster, but it doesn't. See us that time. Good. Ah, oh, shit. Do we have to knock this down? I'm not sure what that does for us. I see, I see. That's what it does for us. Maketh the Syntheth. God, this is terrifying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, tension overload. I wonder what you'd call this dude. Because the other, the dudes in the first game and the ladies had names like the janitor or the cooks or whatever. What would you call this guy? Like the farmer, maybe? Oh shit, he's gonna get notif notified by these birds, isn't he? Run! Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, go, 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 go. Oh shit. Oh shit, we've got a gun of our own. Get it, man, get it, get it. Fucking do him. Fuck him up. Yo, that was sick. Oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> we we don't get to see the uh the results. I would wager he's probably not dead. Maybe he is though. Maybe he is. Maybe we're good. That was such a cool moment. You just see it on the wall and you know what's going to happen and you just have to put it into action and it all works perfectly and it's just like, "Oh my goodness." Wee. Wow. Wow, what an intro. That was truly like fantastic.
I was really hoping, I was really hoping that Little Nightmares 2 would live up to Little Nightmares 1. And if that's, if that's anything to go by, I'm gonna, I'm gonna strongly agree that it does. Because, <laughs> oof. They did that so well. I guess maybe we did kill him, because this feels like a transition to a whole new area. Why? What is it with the TVs, man? What is it with the TVs? Why is there a TV sinking here? Multiple TVs sinking here. We woke up surrounded by TVs. Uh, what does it mean? Oh, I, I, I fucking dig that they're happy to take their time with this. It's not just rush you straight onto the next set piece. It's you know, moment for reflection as we traverse these uncharted waters. Very nice, very nice. And and our friend didn't die, so I wonder how Six is going to get involved. Oh. What's coming into view? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, that's a big old city. That is a big old city. It looks like those towers are swaying. What the? Those towers are definitely swaying. If you listen really closely in the background, you can hear... It's the sound of the Inception horn from the... <laughs> but Inception did first, and then every other movie trailer copied for the next, like, decade. <laughs> What's that? We need some big noise in our trailer to convey a sense of, like, impending doom. <laughs> wow. Wow. Atmospheric as fuck. Oh, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. That is... That is a pitch-perfect beginning to this game. I am incredibly, incredibly gassed. Love it. Love it. Hope you have enjoyed it, too. That is where we're going to end off part one. If you have enjoyed it, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and share the video around if you can, I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely, hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel and the buying of the new games as they come out. All that jazz. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time for the next stage, the next section of Little Nightmares 2. Can't wait. Thanks again, and I'll see you then.